Hi. I'm taping this in the bedroom because yeah, it gets me in that mode of feeling in a safe environment and uh well <clears throat> ever from the daily blog thing I did today. I uh waited too long uploading it and fixing with it and tagging it so I got too dark. So I could have went to the kitchen but I think if I'm in there too long, I'll uh, fuss with the meat for the tacos. So, got to get serious here. Yesterday, Wednesday, um, well, eh, a little bit back, I made a video about a pre-meltdown that I know I was describing. I was getting jittery and you know agitated, and I wasn't I wasn't focusing my thoughts. It seemed like my thoughts weren't that focused, usually, but when I can tell that they're not focused, I, they were all over the place. I was feeling really ADD or ADHD, whatever the terminology is. Now, I think they're separate things. Um. And that's hard to convey in a video when my thoughts themselves are scattered and when they're not. Because as I've been watching over my videos, um, I do seem a little bit scatterbrained. And I'm not following the thought. But when I personally watch them, I can follow the train of thought. And my boyfriend can follow the train of thought. And my ex-roommate can follow my train of thought. And... People that know me really well, have lived with me for a decent amount of time, can can kind of follow it. They still think it's a little bit tangenty, but it's not. So, I don't remember making my video yesterday. One where I talked about the cat being annoying and whatnot, Wednesday's daily blog. I have no memory of making that video. I also have no memory at all of rating Firelands. None. Woke up today, looked at my raid info, and I had six of seven bosses down. Like something went well. Um, my guild leader came over. We're all we all local, kinda. So, yeah, she explained that she was talking to me last night while I was in the middle of Firelands, and I seemed a little bit frustrated. But, and I linked it before, because I didn't know the name of it, but I, I found a, the link for it when I talked about the actual meltdowns from a personal experience, and it's called the Cingulate Gyrus. And... That's just a small section of the whole little part, but it forms the memories and stuff. And I can tell that I've gotten a pretty good idea about my self-aware nature, that I know what's going on, because I was able to tell on Tuesday that I was getting ratcheted up. So, apparently Wednesday, my cingulate gyrus seized. But here's where it gets really strange. I have no memory of it. Probably people can liken this to the alcoholic blackout. But I made a video. I was happy. I seemed perky. Like, you know, I was about ready to go skipping down the sidewalk throwing streamers and glitter everywhere. I, I didn't see anything, any major issue going on there. And obviously I was able to do all six bosses in Firelands, so I wasn't completely shut down. And I don't, I don't know what triggered it. I'm going to only boyfriend and I last night, because when he came home last night, I was passed out. I didn't 
he got home shortly after 10. I didn't wake up till like 12.30. So I was definitely passed out for on top of two hours past when he came home, let alone how, mo how long I was passed out prior to that. The only information I have was I sent myself an email from a local news station um, at 8.39. So I was awake then. So I can surmise that maybe I was in here laying down in the dark, calming down or something as a defense mechanism, self-coping mechanism. And I was reading the news on my phone. I have one of the apps. And I saw an article and mailed it to myself. That's where it gets confused. Usually if I see one, I just share it straight to Facebook. Um, I don't have enough subscribers on Twitter. So there's that. Um, but it is a little disconcerting that my cingulate gyrus seized, but the rest of my brain was completely, not completely, but for the better part of things, functional. And according to the video, not even in any sort of distress. Denial, maybe. Now, I could have been in a complete stage of denial. And stuff. But there's an idea. There's a little, a little insight into how a minor meltdown can be completely overlooked. Because the person can act fine. They can act happy. They can form complex maneuvers. I didn't go driving, I don't think. During when I made that video, it was only a couple hours prior to my firelands. I probably wouldn't have went anywhere. Um, so... Thank God I didn't do that, but I was able to do Firelands, apparently, unless for some ungodly reason I went in there and extended my raid lockout and never went to Firelands to, you know, fool myself into thinking I did, but my my siphons went up, so that that is disconcerting, that my quest reward, my quest actually went up, and I killed bosses in Firelands and recorded a video to YouTube tagged it, titled it, and wrote a description for it. And I have no memory of doing this. And I don't know what triggered it. Obviously, I was agitated the day before, so that could have done it. But what was the straw that broke the camel's back? Things that, it, it could have been again, our cable company was fritzing with the news again. The news was fine today, and that was good. I like that. I was able to watch the news and get up all on the Obama-Romney jizzy jazz and stuff. My neck was getting tired, so I'm going to have this little roll here for a little while. Um, I'm not the skinniest person. Who cares? Um, so, I was able to watch the local news. You know, And yeah, I could read it online. Obviously, I did last night. That might be why I did, is because we were fussing out, and it was like three days in a row, no news. But I had my morning shows, and I had maybe evening shows. Yeah. Apparently, it was uh, area wide. So, that's that. Um,. So yeah, it's kind of it's kind of disconcerting the fact that I was able to completely be a functional person. I was able to have other people depend on me and I could formulate sentences for and ideas for a, a daily blog. And I could hold a camera, so I wasn't twitchy. I watched that video. I didn't even do the little, you know, auto-shaking thing. It just automatically improved. You know, it was fine, stable. You know. 
and can, I don't I don't know if any of you can imagine this sort of disconcerting that see I remember I remember boyfriend and the roommate going to work I remember watching the chew yesterday but I don't remember making the video and I don't remember rating Firelands and I don't remember making a pasta side which I talked about in the video and the bag empty was in the garbage so I cooked using the stove rated not an easy dungeon raid and made a video in the most and I have no memory of it can you can any I don't know you probably can if you think about it long enough you probably could it is really disconcerting but it's insight into how a meltdown can occur but be very minor and it could even be a, a starting point um, because something was definitely going wrong. I probably was having a lot of mm, chemicals flying through my body, dopamine, norepinephrine, adrenaline, all that happy thing, all those happy jazz things. And that's probably why I laid down. Obviously, I laid down after raid. So that started at 5, and then I was posting something from my phone at 8.39. So, and it's like maybe something happened in Firelands that set it off, but why would it affect my memory from five hours prior? And it wasn't anything in the video. It's very disconcerting, considering no one's here at the apartment, and the best chronology memory thing I have of my days currently are these videos and then what I can remember but you know I could get all paranoid and doubt anytime I can't remember something maybe, I, maybe one of these happened so but they don't doesn't seem to happen that often I'd also get paranoid thinking that I made the video about the pre-agitation and by thinking about it even more caused it to happen. My, you know, but it, it was so minor. Uh, kind of a sensitive subject because it is a, it, is, it qualifies as a meltdown. I had lost conscious control, but my brain had enough esoteric upper brain function to be able to do some pretty complex tasks. I mean, I don't know if any of you have the idea of what I'm talking about, but flying on a list resort, not something you can steamroll. you got to be pretty much conscious that you're not going to run into the clouds of death. you got to fly through all those rings or you're going to fall to keep up your buff. Maybe I didn't fly. Maybe I sat on the ground or something. Don't know what happened. I unfriended the girl today because, well, she's on siphons now, and, well, it's her raid. She gets them. They're reserved for her. So, there's that. i got to find another group, but that won't be for a couple weeks. Putting it on hold for Pandaria. really worrisome when I'm home alone and something like that can happen. And there's no one here to check up on me. Apparently, even in guild chat, I had even stated, I need my boyfriend. A little bit of privacy, not saying his name. I actually said his name because he's in the guild. I need him. But we need the money. And that was kind of a, kind of an odd quote. But obviously, I still wasn't far gone enough that I could rationalize him immediately taking time off work to come home. But I knew that he was a comfort. Yeah. 
Oh my god, my eyes are getting wet. Okay. I don't want to make this a sad video. It's a realization. Kind of how they work. Hopefully, I'll, I'll try to... I don't know what to do about this. I think I just needed to get it out. I've already talked talked about it with the boyfriend, and we brainstormed back and forth, but... I don't know how many people on YouTube are able to recount a meltdown as it happened to them. Because most of the people that are looking for these videos are parents, probably, looking for their kids. So, I don't see many nine and eight year olds, you know, making videos about recollecting their meltdowns. And if they're still trying to figure out what happened. Whereas I've had enough of these in my life that I can at least arrest some modicum of control. Makes sense, but the willpower I must have been under holding back a meltdown, even if I, even if it wasn't getting worse, or if it wanted to get worse, I was still holding it back because of my duty, my duty to the raid, which may have been a little bit more damaging in and of itself. Anyways, so yeah, hopefully this will help Colonel, I don't know what word I was going to use, will be catalogs. Hopefully it will catalog better about what other people can see in their loved ones. Mm -hmm.